Hey guys, Life22 here, Miley and Kevin. So today, it's Friday, it's Friday evening, and Miley's doing her homework, right? And Miley's homework is Common Core, and none of the teachers will explain it to her. I've left messages with congressmen, senators, the people that actually voted that shit into um, existence. It's really stupid. Uh, none of the teachers in the local district uh, will meet with me. I've reached out to a few of them that I know. None of them want to put their face on camera because they don't want to get vilified by the state and the education department for not understanding what the hell this shit is so or being able to explain it to the public because nobody wants the public to know about it until after the sheep are all grown and ready for slaughter or whatever their goal is for having this garbage out there so anyways from what i gather common core and miley correct me if i'm wrong uh is where you have you're trying to teach the kids multiple different ways of looking at it instead of saying hey this is this is math, right? Mm, like, yeah. This is math. You add these two numbers together, you get this number. Another way to look at it is this way. However you get to the answer, and however you understand it best, should be the way that you proceed with your own life. And what the school is saying is, no, we're not doing that. We're going to show you, and we want you to show us, 2 plus 2 is 4. But how else can you get there? And you have to show every different possible combination a million different ways so that every kid understands that there's multiple different paths to the same goal. And then instead of letting them deviate and say, this one works best for me as an individual, they're forcing you to show it all the way up until high school, which is asinine. When you could just clearly show all the kids the different options. You, you want to teach kids how to play musical instruments, you show kids drums and guitar and bass violin. guitar violin you've got the piano you've got all these different instruments the flute the saxophone the trombone the oboe you go through all these different musical instruments you say hey kids mess around with them see what you like what do you like best and then you go with the one that is best suited for you your taste your style what what musical instruments you like the sound of which one do you think is easier for you to play that's how you do it right you, you introduce them all to it real quickly but now they're introducing it to them real quickly and then it's not real quickly. It's forever. And now all of a sudden you're expected at 27 years old to sh go to a job interview, which would never, ever happen unless you're working for the state, apparently. Um, so here's 2 plus 2 is 4. Show us what you can do. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. 1 plus 3 plus, uh, plus 0 is 4. And then it's just, it's asinine. So me and Miley, going off of Quinn's love for Minnie and Mickey Mouse, mm -hmm. have created a very unique math system that'll be great for the little dummies of the world that they had to create <laughs> common core for that don't understand anything even into high school and they need to be fed by adults even into <laughs> high school um so we've come up with and this also should stir the pot a little bit with the looney tunes out there which is funny because the looney tunes are our society and this is a disney uh, you know, kind of thing. So we've got our two variables here. We've got Minnie or Mickey and Minnie. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to show you how you can add Minnie and Mickey into a math problem. All right. So Miley did all these little doodles for us today. Oops. So our red Sharpie, I have this one here. So one Minnie plus one Minnie plus a Mickey, plus a Mickey, plus a Mickey, mm -hmm. simplified to its most simplest form, is going to be 2 minis. minis. Mm -hmm. And Minnie has a bow. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't draw as nice as Miley does. Yeah. And then it's going to be three, 3 Mickeys. Yeah, so plus 3 Mickeys. And that's going to be that's going to be the most simplest form that you can do that in because you, Minnie and Mickey are variables. And a variable means it could be anything. So Minnie could be equal to... 5,000. 5,000. And Mickey could be equal to 3. Mm -hmm. So 3 times... 3 times 3... Is 9. 9, right. And then 2 times 5,000... 10,000. Plus 9... To add those two together, 
is 10,000. 10, right. So that's pretty easy. And Miley's learning variables here today as well. So we're using Minnie and Mickey. So great. That's our first addition problem, right? Now we're using, so Minnie and Mickey are variables in this situation. But we're making it fun for kids and we're making it modern, right? So, okay. So let's try subtraction. So this equation here is one mini or one Mickey, Mickey. minus one Two. mini minus another mini. So it becomes Mickey and just so that we could discern the two genders, Mickey <laughs> Mickey has a third leg, Minnie has a bow. Um, yep. Just for the humor of all of it. <laughs> minus Two. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. And Miley was keeping it simple. We're keeping it less simple with um, pink and red. I'm just using red for a yeah. matter of time. So one Mickey minus two minis. Easy enough. We got another subtraction problem. Then we've got multiplication. And we're going to go through this with you real quick. This is for the kids out in the audience and the adults for humor. Um, so two minis multiplied by one Mickey. Right. So Miley's about to learn exponents. I know what exponents are. Well, I think I do. Oh yeah. Like the powers of ten. Right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, they taught us that. Like they were Miss Gabber was teaching us um, powers of ten and stuff like that. Okay, so. So the powers of 10. Okay, so many times many equals many. So we're not doing powers of 10 here, right? So there's bow, mm -hmm. nostrils, whatever. I think there's a number of So, okay, so there's two minis there to the power of two. Mm -hmm. It's two minis plus or times a, a Mickey. So with this kind of situation, that that is assumed when you see two of them next to each other. So you've got third leg. <laughs> right, so you've got mini 2x, uh, 2, uh, yeah, to, mini to the power of 2 mm -hmm. times Mickey. Great. And then we've also done it for division. But for the matter of time and savings here, so now... We're about to teach Miley what negative numbers are and to keep it fun with nowadays society and all the Looney Tunes out there. We've added this special portion. We've got Trans Mini yeah. and Trans Mickey. Right. Awesome. Isn't this great? Okay. So a Trans Mickey is a Mickey Mouse. Is actually a Minnie Mouse. So a Trans Mickey is a Minnie Mouse. See, no third leg, but no ball. It's a mini that dresses like a Mickey. Okay, a trans mini is a Mickey Mouse with a bow, hence third leg. <laughs> so it's the opposite. A trans mini is the opposite of a Mickey. <laughs> okay, and a trans or equivalent to. So it's a you get this nice cross between your your two variables. The opposite just means that it is that one. And in its simplest form. So we'll go through the first question right here. All right. So we brought this one in. So if we were to change a couple of them, let's give this mini a third leg. <laughs> let's give this Mickey a bow. So that's a trans. That's a trans mini. But you got to make the thigh bigger so then his third leg goes away. The thigh. Oh, no, 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 no. Because then we just change him to a mini. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Because he's he's a trans, he or she, it is a trans It's mini. a himishimi. It's a himishimi, or the shehees, as they say in <laughs> gangs in New York. All right, so a trans mini mm -hmm. is equivalent to a Mickey. Uh, yes, see? Because regardless of what it thinks it is, it is actually a Mickey. So it looks like a mini, but, it's, but a Mickey. A, it's a negative number here. It's a negative. It's an inverse. So what happens is it becomes the alternate, the alternate here. It becomes the bizarro world. So mini, trans mini is actually a Mickey. Mind blown. 
Right. A trans... Let's see here. Oh, we just changed that one to a trans mini too, huh? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. I know what we can do. Oh, you got to get loaded to the leg. Mm -hmm. So you got to take a bow off of one of them. So let's take that bow off. Mm -hmm. Boom. So, okay. So you've got it. You've got two Mickeys. And then this one is technically a Mickey. And that one's a Mickey. Right. So one, two, three, four Mickeys. You have four Mickeys. Four Mickeys. All because we we did a little convolution here, right? So we've got subtraction. So we've got one Mickey. So let's add a bow here. And take a bow away from here. So we've got one Mickey, one Mickey, and a mini. So that actually equals zero. Right? Because mm -hmm. a Mickey minus a Mickey is zero. Yeah. And then you have you have a mini left. So you have a you have a trans mm -hmm. you have a trans Mickey. Yeah. Which is a mini. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty easy. But it's a negative trans Mickey. Right? Tran ne negative yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Negative trans Mickey. So it's a negative mini. Yeah. What's the opposite of a mini? A Mickey. Mickey. So you are left with one Mickey. One Mickey. Boom. Wow. Isn't this math easy, kids? Yeah. This is great. And it's fun. Isn't everybody having fun? I am. Now, when you're doing this math at home, parents and kids, do not... Like, I'm doing this out loud, and it's very offensive to the trans minis and the trans mickeys, <laughs> letting them know that they are actually still what they are pretending not to be, <laughs> right? So you don't want to offend your math problems. Mm -hmm. This is almost, almost a smidgen of the annoyance of Common Core, but it's okay, because if you can live your life like this, People won't throw tomatoes at you on the street. <laughs> if you are a normal human being and you say all the math out loud, like we are doing right now to try to understand it, um, people will throw tomatoes at you because that's what happens in real life. You point at people on the street like, boy, girl, trans, trans Mickey, and they throw tomatoes at you mm -hmm. or they get mad at you. And all you're trying to do is just do math. You're just trying to do math. It's just math. It's just math. That's what you say. You just tell people that. It's just math. And it's they just don't math. Care. It's just math. I'm trying to figure out what Mickey or Minnie you are. That's it, evil. So this is... All right. So moving on here. We're having fun. So you can also... In this situation, I had Miley draw it regular so that we could introduce the inverse, the bizarro. Right? So <laughs> bizarro is, very, <laughs> is a very good term for this. So let's get rid of the bow. Just the bow in this one. Just the bow. All right. So it's a mini. Mm -hmm. It's a mini. And then if you, somebody were to draw this out, you'd have to look and you have to question. You have to say, see, this also creates cognitive thinking skills in children, which is awesome because cognitive thinking, biological cues, right? Oh, no third leg has a bow. Biological cue. Mama bear nursing baby bear. Is that a daddy bear or a mama bear? Well, it's nursing the baby bear. So I'm going to go with the biological cue that I was raised with that that is a mama bear. Mm -hmm. That's easy. You know. In Bambi, did daddy, did daddy deer get shot or mommy deer get shot at the beginning of the movie? Well, I mean, the parents weren't together. So maybe the mom left because she wanted to be a boy. I doubt that's how the story started. <laughs> but we're going to assume when Bambi says mommy... Mommy was a female deer. Just going on a hunch there. Sticking with the Disney theme. So, mm -hmm. we've got a Minnie and a Mickey. Mm -hmm. We essentially have that same thing. That is our answer right there. Just push them together and ta-da, and put the bow back. You've got one Mickey, one Minnie, and you disregard the bizarro. <laughs> you, you translate it back into 
standard, mm -hmm. right? Standard Minnie and Mickey. That's our goal here. It's just like anything else. You want to reduce down to the simplest form. The simplest form of a Minnie or a Trans Mickey is a Minnie. That makes sense. Oh, I feel like an episode of Veggie Tales right now, don't you? Uh, so, and actually, on this normal one right here, if you're dividing a Mickey by a Mickey, that equals one. That's one. Well, parentheses would help us with that one. So if we yep. had parentheses there, that equals one. And one divided by Mini is Mini. Yeah. Well, depending. Because Mini doesn't have to be one. Because Mini could be... Anything. So it could it would just be mini over one. Mm -hmm. Mini over one. See? Very important there. <laughs> mini so mini over one. Min over <laughs> one. Okay. But this one, this one's easy. This one's one over Mickey. One over Mick. That was easy. Uh, unless, you know, this one had a ding dong. <laughs> and uh, this one had a ball. So that one is still a Mickey. And that one's a Mickey. Well, that becomes a lot more complicated. But you guys get the gist here. This is fun math to teach at home. And it makes, makes way more sense because it gets your kid thinking. What's the easiest way that I can try to figure this out? And kids are going to trip. Kids are always going to trip. It's math. We don't put electrical socket plugs in our electrical sockets because kids trip. Kids figure it out. Kids touch the wood-burning stove and they learn hot. It's part of life, people. So why not introduce your kids to Trans Mini? Because they're going to come across a Trans Mini in their lifetime, and they're going to need to know what to do. Convert and process to simplest form. Ah, this is funny. This is funny shit right here. All right, Miley. Well, thank you for coming up with this awesome math idea. Mm -hmm. We're going to send it to Kathy Young's office. Oh, um, Or to Cuomo, Prince Andrew, and see if they'll adopt this. Because it makes, <laughs> even in its lunacy, makes way more sense than Common Core. Yes, it does. And at least there's somebody out there that explains it. Exp uh, sound like Popeye. Explains Ex it. Yeah. Explains <laughs> it. Right? Because nobody's explaining Common Core. Because this is some big grand illusion, right? Like, nobody explained to us why there's fluoride in the water. Uh, nobody explained. It's just, it's, it's nonsense. Lunacy. Lunacy, people. You need to start questioning. Start questioning. Ask people why they're not teaching many, many, many Mickey math. Yeah, it's much easier. It is. It's so much easier than trying to learn Common Core, especially because the creators come out and said, "This is what it means." Look how easy. And one look at all the, creator, the benefits. And one of the creators is in school, so that she can teach other people how to do it. Right, that. right. She's learning. She's developing, uh -huh. so she could be developing this system to make it better. You might win the um, what is it, the Fields Medal? Coming up with a numerical algorithm. I don't know. I'm, the Fields Medal. Would you like to get the Math Nobel Peace Prize? That's pretty much... That's right. All right. Well, today on Life 22, we have the Life 22 Math Fields Medal mm -hmm. that we are awarding to Miley Yay! for coming up with a very new technique on explaining to kids how to treat trans transgenders <laughs> in math. As well as teaching kids variables, how to apply this to real life. A lot of kids have trouble applying shit to real life. And this is math applying to real life situations. Variables, inverses. Oh, you know what? Maybe they should have been imaginary numbers. That's a little out of your league. But <laughs> <laughs> it sure sounds funny, doesn't it, folks? All right. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, keep messaging in the comments below keep your hate mail coming we love it we evil yes, it we, we gobble love it. we gobble it up miley forwards it on to santa claus and he just i don't know put you on the naughty list so uh fingers out catch you guys on tuesday unless me and miley bang out that raspberry pie tomorrow tomorrow or sunday and then we'll see you then so all right guys